Hi everyone, welcome to our How To Asalato series where we are going to show you a library of single-handed asalato tricks. Today we are going to show you two basic ways to catch your asalato. Firstly, this way and secondly, here. We want to learn to catch the asalato because we want to create stops in our rhythms. Especially when we are doing a flip-flop and the momentum continues, we want to stop the flip-flop on either way the flop or the flip side to create more rhythm variations. Hold your asalato in this way and release the bottom asalato. If you notice when I release there is a momentum going about. Use that momentum and swing towards you. Okay, when it swings you'll create that click once it reaches the top. Okay. One thing to take note, don't use the top one to touch the bottom. For example, no, okay. We want to keep it horizontal to the ground, swing, bring it towards you, okay, and try to catch. This will take a while and keep practicing. I remember when I first started Asalato, I took quite a while to catch and I had to practice this for quite a bit. Now let's move on to the second catch. Take a look at my finger position. This catch is important because it leads to the next other tricks. For example, click and your air turn. For example, We all end up here. Now, how do we practice this trick? We will not be using shakes or flip flop. We will just be using a flick of your wrist. With the asalato this way, flick it over your thumb firstly. Okay, in this position, my fingers, index and thumb is not in position yet. But look where they go. Okay. My index goes down to catch and my thumb goes up, tightening the rope. Okay, let's start here again. One more time. Okay, but as a start, just flick it over, slowly position your index down and your thumb up. Do this a few times, let your fingers get used to where it should go. Build that muscle memory and continue to practice so that your fingers will be familiar and each time you flick, your fingers know where to go. So these are the two basic ways to catch your asalato and these are ways for you to create rhythmic variations in your play. Don't be frustrated if you cannot catch the asalato. Be patient with yourself. Keep practicing. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.